dear students now we are going to discuss about the magnetism part 3 in magnetism part 1 we came to know how the name of the magnet being your the developed and what are its the classification and what are its the properties in the magnetism part 2 we came to know about the magnetic field of the action the coulomb's force and the dipole moment now we are going to discuss about your the magnetism part 3 in which we have to find the magnetic field intensity due to the dipole at two different positions one position is your the axial one second one is your the broadside on one so now we are going to find the magnetic field intensity m f i magnetic field intensity due to dipole at number 1 end on position end on position or axial position or tan a position in which name you will say the end on or axial or your the tan a position but as before we know that the magnetic field and the electric field they are analogous to each other and for your the electric field intensity of end on we already determined E is equals to 2 k p by your the r q or that can be your the 2 k p by 2 k p r by r square minus l square whole square either this one or your the that one this is for your the electric field intensity for your the end on positions now we are going to find the magnetic field intensity due to the magnetic dipole suppose this is a magnetic dipole with this is your the north pole this is your the south pole and we have to find the magnetic field intensity at the end on position let that end on position be your the p and this p from the mid of the dipole is at a distance of your the r and this total distance as i taken as your the 2 l means from south to your the mid of the dipole if that is your the o from s to o that is your the l from o to n that is equals to your the l i already said that the distance between the south and the north pole you can take as your the l but for your the simplification of your the calculation in your the problems we have to take n that is your the 2l as i said that you can take the distance between s and your the n means that is the magnet that is your the magnetic length the magnetic length can be taken here the L can be taken here the 2 L 2 L means it is the distance from S to N and L is also the distance from S to L you can take but for your the convenience we are taking that is your the 2 L so here the point is your the P where we have taken a unit north pole if a unit north pole to be taken here here it is the north pole between the two pole there will be a repulsion and that will hear the direction and from the unit north pole towards your the south pole then there will be a attraction and this is your the that attraction one so this is your the that this is your the dipole moment you have man means magnetic field intensity at the this point along your the direction of your the n means that is your the d b p n this is your the b p s so 
to find the magnetic net magnetic index uh, magnetic field intensity at the point p that is your the b at the point p let that is your the only your the b means the magnetic field intensity magnetic field intensity which I will write further as your the MFI at P due to the north pole n pole will be how much as we derived the MFI magnetic field intensity is equal to your the k m by your the r square. So, this formula will satisfy for your the k m means your the pole and that pole due to your the north though this is the dipole means equal and opposite magnitude is the same, but the opposite in nature. So, that is equal to if it is the m or it is if you take that is the negative of the minus m magnitude is your the m k m by your the r square r is what the distance between that two. So, that two means from the north pole to this your the unit north pole that distance is your the r. You see how you will write this distance? This distance from O to P minus of your the O n that will your the n p. This is the k m by your the n p square distance square. So, that is equals to k m by n p n p is equals to O p minus a O n that square is equals to k m by O p means Odisha police O p O p is equals to r here minus O n O n O n is equals to your the l. So, that is equals to r minus l whole square that is equals to say equation 1. Similarly, m f i at p due to south pole this is due to your the north pole this is due to your the south pole the same formula k m by which square myself square because the distance from s to your the p. So, the distance s p means that is the myself s p means Sivapadi. So, this is your the s p square. So, k m by s p square that is equals to k m. Now, you look s p from s to p means s o plus o p s o plus o p that square. So, that is equals to k m by r plus l whole square. Let us take that is the equation 2. Now, we are interested to find the net magnetic intensity at p. So, the magnetic field intensity at p if we will write that is your the b or you can say that is the b at p means your the bp but simply if you take that is the b that is equals to k m by r minus l whole square minus k m by r plus l whole square. The question comes sir why it is your the minus though you have written the net magnetic field net means it is the addition why sir that is a minus here just you look this is where we have find the magnetic field intensity one is in this direction one is in this direction both are your the vectors when both vectors are acting at a point in opposite direction the resultant is their difference. So, which difference you have to take in the greater minus of your the less you see one is your the this value one is your the this value your both numerator is your the k m. But here the denominator is r minus l whole square, here the denominator is r plus l whole square. Numerator is the same means if denominator will be less then its value will be the more. Though this is the less value r minus l, but this is the r 
plus L. Same R, same R, same L, same L. If R is equal to the 5, L is equal to the 2. 5 minus 2 is your the 3. So, 3 square will be your the 9. Here, 5 plus 2 is the 7. 7 square will be your the 49. The numerator is the same, denominator whose less, this denominator is less, therefore this value is more and this value is your the less. So, when they are in the opposite direction, the resultant will be their difference. Therefore, the greater one minus of your the smaller one. So, if we simplify them, then that is equals to r minus l whole square into r plus l whole square and k m is your the common if you taken out then this is equal to remain 1. So, r minus l whole square with your the LCM is cancel that is equal to r plus l whole square. Similarly, minus k m is taken out here it is the 1 r plus l whole square with the LCM will be the out only remain your the r minus l there is a 1 here. So, 1 into r minus l is r minus l that square. Are you clear my students? Are you writing it? So, that is equals to k m this numerator denominator will be the r square minus l square whole square because this is your the r minus l whole square this is the r plus l whole square. So, for your convenience I am writing r minus l into r plus l this whole square. If this is the a, this is the a square. If this is the b, this is the b square. So, it is the a square b square. a square b square can be written a b whole square. So, a means your the r minus l, b means your the r plus l, that is whole square means this whole square. Then k m is the common is out, this is the a plus b the whole square minus a minus b whole square. So, a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square formula is 4 a b, but here a is your the r, here b is your the l. So, 4 r l. So, that can be written k of m of the 2 l then r by r square minus l square whole square. Just I rearrange uh, there is another 2. You see 4, 2 into 2 is your the 4. K m, K m, R l, R l. Just rearrange it. So, that is equals to 2 k m into 2 l. m into 2 l is how much? m into 2 l that is equals to your the capital M. So, this is equals to your the capital M of your the R divided by R square minus L square whole square. So, this is equals to you can write 2 k m r by r square minus l square whole square is equals to your the b. So, 2 k the mister 2 k mister by r square minus l square whole square mister means m r m is the dipole moment r is your the distance. This is for your the magnetic. We already read in some months ago for your the magnetic electric field intensity the same end on position is equals to 2 k p r by r square minus l square whole square. You see 2 is the 2 k is the k r is the r r minus l whole square r minus l whole square here it is the m here it is the p. I already said for your the electric dipole moment that symbol is your the p for the magnetic dipole moment that symbol is your the m and this is your the magnetic field intensity for your the end on position. Though that is taking place along the axis, the another name is also your the axial position. But if you take for your the ideal dipole, for ideal dipole, for ideal dipole is that one when the L is very very less in comparison to your the r means the distance between the two poles if very very less distance between the two poles is very very less then its effect will be or the more because when distance decreases the force will be the increase therefore this magnet will be or the highly magnetized and that type of a magnet is called your the 
ideal dipole for ideal dipole l is less 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 r so if l is less 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 r this l is your the very very small in comparison to r therefore l square can be the neglected when l square can be the neglected then b will be then for your dipole your b will be your the 2 k m r 2 k m r by this is your the r to the power of 4. This r to the power of 4 with your the r will be your the cancel. So, this is equals to 2 k m by r q. And if you will convert it for your the electric one, this k will be your the p, uh, this m will be your the p. So, that will be your 2 k p by r q. You see, this is equals to 2 k p by your the r q means that is only my point of saying if you know the electric field intensity for your the charges and the magnetic field intensity for your the dipole of your the any type can be determined on your the same way. So, that is your the <coughs> magnetic field intensity is your the 2 k m by r q generally we are taking. If it will consider for your the L as the question I, I said earlier, the distance between them we have taken is the 2 L. If we will take it is the L, suppose we will take it is the L. So, from this to this, this will be the L by 2. And if this is the L by 2, here it will be the L by 2, L by 2, L by 2. If some magnitude is provided, suppose this distance is the total distance is your the 7 centimeter, then it is the half will be the 3.5, it is a calculated easily. But if the distance is your the 3.25, then it is the half will be your the continue because 0.25 your the 125 means its decimal places will go on your the continuously. When you will take it to the square, you see, when you will take it to the square, then that magnitude will get give you in a greater form and which will make it too hard to solve for the problem. Therefore, instead of taking 2L, you will take instead of taking L, you take it with the 2L. As we came to know the magnetic field intensity due to your the dipole for your the axial position of its the general case b is equals to your the this much, but for your the ideal case b is equals to this much. So, here I will ask you one question. The question is if it is the magnetic field intensity it has its the direction. So, in which direction for your the axial position the magnetic field intensity to be direct. Here we are determining the magnetic field intensity. It must have its the direction. In which direction it to be or the direct? Means you see here the magnetic field intensity due to your the these two forces. These two forces are acting in the opposite direction. And though the net field it will be or the addition, I explained it is the addition, no doubt. But though they are in the opposite, so there is a negative sign. Therefore, instead of giving the plus, I give it directly it is the minus. So, in that case, this force is your the more and this is your the less. The effective one will direct along to your the that greater one. Suppose two are fighting, one will give you the more force, but the second one is giving the less force. So, who will be the owner? the owner will be your the, the greater force who exerted. So, these two forces are acting at this point. This force is the more in magnitude, this force is less in magnitude because its numerator is your the r minus l, another numerator denominator is your the r plus l. So, here I explain this is your more one. So, this more magnitude according to our the figure in which way it is directing? It is directing along towards my right and that right not of the mine, but that right is along the axis of the magnet. So, if the question will ask in which direction the magnetic field intensity due to a dipole to be direct 
at your the end on position or axial position the answer should be along the axis that is your the question. So, that is over for your the end on position. Now, we will find for your the broad side on position. So, broad side on the word broad you know the word of the abroad. Abroad means one has gone abroad. So, what you are guessing that here the sea the out of our the country and here we will take your the broad side on position. Second one is your the broad side on position broad side on position. It also has its the different names equatorial position or perpendicular bisector position or tan B position. In which name the question will ask, the procedure will be the same. This is your the dipole, one is your the north pole, this is your the south pole, line joining them, this is your the midpoint, from S let the midpoint is the O, from S to O is your the L from O to N that is your the L. On the axial position earlier we have taken it is the axis and we have taken a point at the end position and here we have to take in the point at the broad side on position means from abroad means out of that one. Let this is your the abroad position that is your the P the point is your the P. Now, from the point from O to your the point P, let the distance is the R as we have taken in your the <coughs> end on position the distance is R. Just you look, this is the O, if the end on position is this, from this to this we have taken as the R. So, this is your the midpoint and this is the point of the consideration, this distance will be your the R. Now, you join. from S to O and from N to O and these two distances will be the same that is your the X and though this is the per mid position from the mid position this is the perpendicular bisector means it bisect your the magnetic axis. So, if it bisect the magnetic axis from a point where it is being drawn from to that point to your the point of the end positions will be of the same magnitude. Means this will be the uh, this is the triangle which are the these two sides to be the same. So, these two sides is your the x x. So, here we are interested to find your the magnetic field intensity means we have to take a unit north pole at that point. So, here we have taken a unit north pole, this is the north pole. So, between the north and the north there will be the repulsion. So, along this one, this is your the repulsive one and from your the unit north pole to your the this south pole, they are of the opposite. So, there will be the force of attraction, means along this you will have the force of attraction and along this you will have the force of the repulsion and that magnetic induction at a point P due to your the north means that is equals to your the BPN and this is equals to your the BPS. Though these two sides are the same, so what about this angle? This angle will be the theta this angle will be the theta. So, here do we have to find the resultant that resultant will be the this one because this angle will be the theta this angle will be the theta. So, now complete a parallelogram here. Let us name it 
this is the p uh, say this is equals to your the d e say this point is your the f. So, p d e f is a quadrilateral one where your p f is it is the diagonal and the two vectors one is your the b p n vector another one is your the b p s vector they are inclining the angle of your the two theta. So, what will the resultant if the two vectors are making certain angle theta then the resultant is the square root of the square of the addition of their magnitudes with the two times of product of their magnitudes with cos of the angle between them as per our the formula if p is a vector q is a vector theta is the angle between them then the resultant r is equals to square root of p square plus q square plus 2 p q cos theta as per our the formula and here what happens here the magnetic field intensity at p at p due to your the n due to north pole will be how much k m by your the r square which is our the formula and that is equals to k m by your the r r is nothing but the distance between your the n and your the p and that distance is your the x. So, k m by your the x square as we written the magnetic field intensity at a p due to your the north pole is equals to this one. Similarly, at the point p another magnetic field existing along your the p s. So, the m f i at p due to south pole is equals to if that is equals to your the b p s then that is equals to also k m by your the r square and that is equals to your the k m by your the x square and this is equals to your the b uh, p n this is the b p n. So, b p s means the formula is k m by r square r is the distance distance between padisar. So, distance between padisar is here is the padi here is the sar. So, distance between padisar is what that is equals to your the s. So, k m by r square is the formula according to the formula the symbol which we have taken here for r that is the x. So, k m by your the x square. So, this is equals to your the b p n and your the b p s. You see b p n is along this direction, b p s is along this direction. If one vector is in this direction, another vector will be in this direction, then these two vectors will have their resultant. As in the vector chapter, we know how to solve if the more than one vectors are acting at a point. So, here the two vectors are acting at a point, its resultant will be the this one. To find that resultant, we have completed here the quadrilateral one. And here, though this angle is the theta, this is your the intersection, this line and this axis is parallel. So, this angle will be equal to your the this angle according to the geometrical structure. Similarly, this line and this axis is your the parallel, this is your the line of the passing. So, this angle and this angle to be your the same, though this angle theta and this angle theta due to your the two sides to be your the same, this angle is equal to this, this angle is equal to this, they are same. So, they two must be same. So, if this is theta that is the theta, here these two vectors are making the angle of this one and that angle is your the 2 theta. The net magnetic field, the net magnetic field intensity at a p, if that is equal to your the b p according to the formula that is the root over of the one vector means b p n mod square then another one is the b p s vector mod square plus 2 b p n vector mod 
BPS vector mode with its the cause of angle between them. Because BPN, you see BPN, this is the BPN. BPN is for the one vector, so that's though we have taken the vector, so it's the more square we written. If we will never add your the vector directly, we can add in the right your the BPN whole square. So that BPN is your the km by x square. This is also the km by your the x square. That's a whole square. This is only your the km by your the x square. That is also km by your the x square. That is your the cos two theta root over. So this is equals to km by x square whole square km by x square whole square km by x square km by x square multiplied means that whole square. So this term, this term, and these two terms all are the same in your the three terms. So we have to take in that is your the common. So when whole square is taken common from your the square root, then your whole square will be out. So, this whole square will be out, then remain root over of this total is taken common means only 1 plus this total is taken common only 1 plus 2 cos 2 theta because this total is taken common means 1 is there, 2 into 1 will be the same thing. So, I have not written the 1 there, only the 2. So, 1 plus 1 is the 2, this is the 2. So, this 1 plus 1, it becomes your the 2. So, the 2 and 2, 2 is the common. When 2 common is taken out, that is equals to your the season. This 2 when taken common from this root over, then that will be the season. Sir, what is the season? You see that is your the root 2. This is the root 2, means that is the root 2. Root 2 means that is your the season. So, root 2 k m by x square, then root over of this 2 is taken common 1 plus this 2 is taken common 1. So, 1 can be written, because cannot be written here because it is a multiplier only of your the cos 2 theta. So, that is equals to root 2 k m by x square, then root over of 1 plus cos 2 theta. Cos 2 theta formula is 2 cos square theta minus 1. So, you see this plus 1 minus 1 is your the cancel. So, this will be BP is equals to root 2 k m by x square, then 1 1 is cancel only root over of 2 cos square theta. So, 2 root over that again you are the another season root 2, then you are the cos square theta root over only you are the cos theta. You see this is the root 2 root 2, root 2 plus root 2 that is the 2 root 2, but it is not here the plus, it is the multiple. So, root 2 into root 2 that is equals to your the only 2 k m by x square of a cos theta. So, theta is the this one, this is your the triangle. In this triangle, suppose this is the triangle, according to this, this is the O, this is your the N, this is your the P, this angle is the theta, this value is your the x, from this to this is equals to your the R, from this to this is your the L. So, cos theta, what is the basic formula for the cos theta? That is your the B by H. B is what? The base. You see this angle is the theta means this is your the base and this is your the height. So, which one is your the base? Uh, B by H. B means your the this one, H means your the hypotenuse. So, this one is your the L. So, cos theta will be L by X. You see cos theta, cos of a theta, b by h is your the formula, b by h, b means your the base, the base is your the this one, this one is your the L and your the h is your the hypotenuse means the brother of the Duryodhan that is your the Karna. So, Karna is equals to your the this one. So, this Karna is equals to your the x, so L by x that is equals to 2 k m L by your the 
x q but either the value of x is known to us we know the dipole the distance between them means the l is provided to us and it is the magnitude of the pole strength that is provided to us means pole strength is provided to us l the length that is provided to us k is the proportionality constant we know about that one but this x we have taken for the point p this distance x is how far how we will calculate i have taken the point p here suppose you will take the point p here then you have to join from this to this this one will be or the x one will take the point p here here the c has to join from this to this that distance will be the x is it has any other definite value so we have to express the value of the x in terms of your the known quantity known quantities are which one the known quantities are the L and your the R. These two are the known quantity. You see, if this is equals to x, this is your the hypotenuse. So in that triangle, we can write x square is equals to r square plus a l square. Means hypotenuse square is equals to base square plus perpendicular square. This is the perpendicular. So r square. This is the base. That is the L. So R square plus L square is equals to X square. So what is your the X? Then it's power one by two. Here it is what X cube means this X to be your the cube means this total one to be your the cube. So half which is the power three that will be your the three by two. So R square plus L square to the power three by two is your the X cube. So this X cube will be R square plus L square to the power of three by two. Okay, this is your the BP. But if you rearrange this, then that is equals to K M into two L by R square plus L square to the power of three by two. So if this is a M into two L, M into two L is what? The dipole moment, that dipole moment we have written for your the symbol of your the capital M. So this BP will be K small m into 2L. That is equal to your the capital M dipole moment by R square plus L square to the power of 3 by 2. This is your the magnetic field intensity due to your the dipole for its the broadside on position. So, as I said and compared the every value of the magnetic field with the electric field, suppose what will be your the question further, what will be the electric field intensity for your the broadside on position. Are you remembering that one? That one, if you won't remember, just put it's the conversions. That K for the electric also the K, but for the M, that is your the dipole moment for electric field is the capital P. By your the same one, R square plus L square to the power of 3 by 2, that is equals to your the electric field intensity you know in your the electrostatic this is for your the magnetostatic if you will go for the ideal case for ideal dipole for ideal dipole what i said for ideal case the length between the pole is very very negligible in comparison to its the distance. So, the length is the L, distance is your the R. So, L is very 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 negligible to your the R. So, if L to be your the neglected in comparison to your the R, then BP is equals to Km by this L is neglected only remain your the r square r square to the power of 3 by 2 that will be your the r q so bp will be your the km by your the r q and for the electric case the similarly kp by your the r q this is for your the electric this is for your the magnetic one so 
this position's name is your the broad side on because it is the broad perpendicular bisector. We have taken this position is the perpendicular bisector or your the equatorial position because it looks like a equatorial triangle one. Okay, and another thing will come to your mind if it is on the end on position. Okay, if it is on your the broad side on position. Okay, sir. Instead of taking end on position or broad side on position means instead of taking the point not here, instead of taking the point not here, suppose sir I will take a point anywhere here or anywhere there, then what will be its the magnetic field induction that will be you also derived in your the electric case, then at that case B p will be k m by r q root over of 1 plus 3 cos square theta. This is the B p. Sir, if you write likewise, how we will accept that one? Suppose the point is the here. So, now we have to join the point to the midpoint this angle is equal to the theta. Suppose this is the axial position, what will be the theta value? Theta value will be the 0. So, if you put the theta value to be the 0, cos 0 is equal to the 1, 3 cos square theta will be the 3, 3 plus 1 is your the 4, 4 root over is your the 2. So, that will be the 2 k m by your the r q. Is it not the value for your the axial position go through your the node? Sir, if that is your the broad side on position, instead of this theta for the broad side on position, that theta will be your the 90 degree. So, if you will put theta is your the 90 degree, cos 90 is your the 0. So, 1 plus of the 0 is the 1, 1 root of her is your the 1. So, that is equal to your the k m by your the r q. This k m by r q for your the broad side on position, you see for the broad side on position k m by r q. So, this is your the three different way for your the any axial position on your the axial position and your the broad side on position. As we determined the magnetic field intensity due to your magnetic dipole for broad side on position and it is the axial position and your the position anywhere and we compare to that one with your the end on and the broad side on. As per the end on position I ask the question in which direction the net magnetic field intensity to be or the direct and we discussed that that is direct along the axis and why we also discussed that one. And here the similar question, if this is your the broad side on position, the net magnetic field induction at the P, we already determined that is your the B P means this one is your the resultant one which is your the B P. Then the question is B P to be direct in which direction? Are you imagining that question? Means the resultant magnetic field intensity of a broad side on position to be direct in which direction? I already given the answer. This is it is the resultant one. You see, though this is your the dipole, uh, magnetic dipole, inside the dipole, the direction from south to north, I said repeatedly so many times, that is the direction of the dipole moment. Means, the resultant direction, dipole moment direction, just you guess, this is the resultant direction this is the dipole moment direction means the resultant is in opposite to your the magnetic dipole moment that will be your answer. So, the conclusion is that the resultant magnetic field intensity of your the dipole is just opposite to that of your the dipole moment. 
So, after completing this one, we will discuss another thing which already we know for your the electric field. For the electric field, if it is the uniform, inside your the uniform electric field, if some charge to be or the taken, then that charge in your the dipole position will provide your the torque. So, here we will discuss torque due to magnetic dipole in uniform magnetic field. uniform magnetic field. This is your the uniform magnetic field and I also said to you that in the uniform magnetic field, the magnetic lines are equidistance straight and separated through a same distance, it is near the straight way and having your the same magnitude means at every point that magnitude is your the same then that is the uniform. So, here we have taken your the dipole. Suppose this is your the north, this is your the south. The distance between them is your the 2 L and the direction from south to north is your the dipole moment direction. Means, this is your the dipole moment direction. So, inside the magnetic field, if this is your the north one, this is the south one, it will experience a force and here also it will experience a force. So, sir, how this force to be or the came into being? Here, this will be or the M B. That will be or the M B. Sir, how that force M B is coming? We came to know that the magnetic field in magnetic field intensity B is equals to or the F by M force due to or the unit north pole. So, F will be or the B M. Here, this is the F will be or the B M along this direction means it is along B vector means uniform magnetic field vector. Similarly, at the S that is also your the M B, but it is your the opposite, opposite to the B, because the B is directing from left to right, this is in your the opposite. Sir, why it is opposite that is in the same direction? Because this magnetic field direction this is for your the n, this is for your the s. n and s they are of the opposite sign, means they are of the opposite in nature. North pole and the south pole, they are of opposite. Due to your the north pole, along the north it to be directed and this is for your the opposite one, therefore it is in the opposite. When these two forces are act at the two slightly extreme position, when two forces will act at the slightly extreme position, then what will happen for that one? Suppose this is the dipole one force is acting here in this direction, another force is acting oppositely in that direction. Then what happens for this one? It will start to your the rotate, means it will produce a torque. The torque which will act, if that is your the tau, then what is your the tau? That is equals to your the uh, force into perpendicular distance. Here the force either this force or this force that force is your the m b into perpendicular distance. Which one is the perpendicular distance? Between the two force what is the perpendicular distance? And the, from this to this the distance we have to write. This is your the perpendicular distance. If this angle is equal to theta, because the field is in this direction, the dipole is tilted in this direction, means it makes the angle of your the theta. If this angle is the theta, this is the triangle. So, this is the theta, then what will be the sin theta? Sin theta will be the P 
by here the h cos theta is the b by h sin theta will be the p by h p means here the perpendicular means this one which we have to find p by here the h h means from this to this this to this is you had distance between the two poles that is your the 2l so by your the 2l so this distance we have to find that is the perpendicular distance that is the 2l sin theta that is your the 2l sin theta so if we we'll arrange that one m of your the 2l m with your the 2l i take n to your the one part or uh, one part then remaining is your the b of your the sin theta so m of your the 2l is equals to capital m b of your the sin theta and that will be your the m vector cross b vector that is equals to your the tau vector for your the electric field the tau vector is equals to m will be your the p and this b will be your the e so that is equals to your the p cross e here it is the m cross e though this is the cross product of the two vectors it must have a direction and what will the direction is perpendicular to the plane containing your the dot two vectors that two vectors means of the m vector and your the b vector you see m vector is in this direction m vector is in this direction and here the b vector you see b vector is in this direction so b vector is in this direction this is the b vector this is the m vector this is the m cross b means from m towards the b from m towards the b means it is perpendicular to the plane containing this one where it being taken to that it to be the perpendicular so this is equals to the tau vector so with this we came to know what will be the torque and we compare it with your the electric field the electric field and the magnetic field both are providing the similar types only the difference with is the symbolization and the another things which we have to discuss that is your the if it is your the torque then it will have its the potential energy its the work and your the arts magnetic field thank you very much <laughs>